Here we go again, again. This is actually my third time running back into the house because I keep forgetting stuff. Um, I'm actually on a semi-lunch break. And I say semi because I've already gone to pick up food for the day, but my manager is getting ready to have his picture done for our new billboard and asked if I would take a picture. Well, any other day, I would have had my camera on me but of course today didn't have it so had to dash home to get it while he's in a meeting and hopefully we'll get back around the same time but pretty cool I get to have my work featured on a billboard here in town so that's awesome but um man Hold on. Trying to support the new radio station here in town uh, that is black owned and operated. K L E, I think it's K L E K 102.5. They feature our church station on there um, for the services and stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. But I'm trying to support them. So, you guys, if you're in the area, you should totally listen to it. Whew. Okay, all ready to go. But, like, when I say today has been a complete aftermath, it's like one of those things where you come back and nothing, not only did you not want to come back, but it's like nothing went according to plan while you were away. So, it kind of makes you lose motivation. Um, but, I mean, I guess I'm good now. It's just like, ugh. So today I get back, get to work, and I'm excited to see my coworkers and tell them about my trip. Then I find out that two of my customers came in while I was gone and sold. One of them was already in the system under my name, and the other one wasn't, but they did come in and ask for me. However, neither one of these numbers are mine, and both of my coworkers get the number. So it kind of set my day off in a bad place because it's just kind of, I don't know, I, I didn't expect that and so it was, it was very frustrating um, because they're just like, oh, well you get the money, you get half the money, but it, it's not about that and it just really makes me reevaluate what I'm doing. Um, I love my job, I truly, truly do. So dealing with this kind of stuff and, you know, you just learn to take it in stride, but you can't take stuff like this laying down, or at least without them knowing that if they try it again, it'll go in a completely different way. Good morning, fam. Happy Tuesday. And I'm in the apartment, solo dolo. All right, guys, so up this morning i'm on my normal shift yesterday was my first day at work and it went pretty smooth man it was uh it was real cool uh everybody at the job seems cool sorry i'm looking for a pan i think it's big enough for an omelet yeah it should be cool uh but yesterday was cool we uh you know i didn't quite do too much i was mostly uh doing hr paperwork and all that stuff and uh i had a good time i mean it was cool I had your boy up at like 6 30 in the morning being at work at 8 30 i was tired as hell but you know it is what it is but today back to my back to my normal shift two to ten uh but I'm about to cook me some breakfast up here catching up on some vlogs man i ain't been watching nobody's vlog it's my man todd jones the second i ain't been vlogging i know kamisha hasn't been vlogging but we still gotta get that catch-up video so everything that you guys are seeing let's see we got the last night video last night in vegas video um the the road trip to denver should be up and then our weekend 
and Denver should be up too. So catch up on those. Hopefully I got those edited in time and they're uploaded. But yeah, I'm loving Denver so far, man. The only problem I have with Denver is it's got so many damn potholes, y'all. These roads suck. Like the poor little Fusion, man. The shocks are gone on it. I gotta get the shocks fixed sometime soon. And it's just like every every road here has a big pothole. And it's like, I'm just going, doom, doom. And it's like, God, come on. <laughs> but uh, let me get this uh, omelet working. I bought some knives the other day, some steak knives. And I'm trying to figure out why in the world it's taking so long to open these things. Like, you can't cut because look at the, the little strap thing. It's like inside. It's so weird. Like, I had to twist. I got one out. I had to twist it out just to get it out. So I'm thinking I might just use this one steak knife for everything. And I got to get ready to go because I got to be at work in about two hours. So let's get it going. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm on my way to work right now, and I think I'm getting sick. So, yeah, this will be fun. My, um... I think I'm going the right way. I don't know, we're about to find out. Anyways, yeah, my nose is itching. Throat is itching. Would you go? Go! There you go. Anyways, yeah, I'm not feeling too hot. I wanna say it's my allergies, man, but I think I might be getting sick. So I definitely will be stopping by like a Walgreens tonight, pick me up something. Uh, I really don't have any big plans this weekend. I really do wanna get downtown and just get out and just see the city, man. Like, you know, I got a chance to do it while Kamisha and Danny were here. But there's, I think there's still parts that I haven't seen. So I might just get out, um, you know, go walk around one of the malls or something like that. They got this big mall that's downtown. It's on 16th Street or something like that. It's like an outdoor mall. So I might go walk around down there, check out what's down there. But it just all depends on how I feel. I download this Periscope app that everybody's using. It's pretty dope. Um, guys, follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, if you have Periscope, follow me on Periscope. The same as my Twitter handle, at BigC underscore 23. I did one last night while I was just chilling at work, getting ready to go, and it was pretty cool. Uh, so make sure you guys go follow me on Periscope, at BigC underscore 23. Ain't this some boobs? Locked in. Only one way to get out. This some bullshit. Okay. We're working on what shape? Rectangle. Rectangle. It's got two short sides like a square and two long sides. So on a square, all the sides are the same, but on a rectangle, two sides are the same, and then the other two sides are a different size, but they're also the same, okay? Mm -hmm. So what's this a picture of? Truck. A truck. And what's the shape on the back? A rectangle. A rectangle. Good. Good job. So we are going to color the truck. Can you color the rectangle on the truck? Okay, color the rectangle part on the truck. Only the rectangle part. Don't color anything else. Okay, so now we're looking at another rectangle. What's this? Swimming pool. A swimming pool. Uncle Trevor took me there. Yes, he did. He's a pretty awesome uncle. So he took you to the swimming pool. So now, and at the see. swimming pool, the swimming pool is shaped like a what? Rectangle. A rectangle. So now we're going to color the swimming pool in. Color the swimming pool. Uh, 
this one got to be white. Well, this one is going to be orange because that's what color you picked. So, color the rectangle. <laughs> Alright guys, super tired. So I'm gonna call it a night. As y'all saw, I got my first promo on the air. Um, I actually did four today, and they all hit air. So I'm excited, because uh, I'm learning the system, and I feel like I'm, I'm picking up on some stuff. So we'll see how it goes the next couple days. But uh, I'm going to bed right now, because dude, my eyes hurt, and I'm so tired. Did you yawn? All right, man. I love each and every one of y'all. I want you to have a blessed evening. Go hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. Two fingers in the air. Peace. We'll talk tomorrow.